And joining us live at this point is Ravi Srivastav, political analyst, also with us is Himanshu Bhatt, senior journalist. Uh, Ravi Srivastav, let me come to you first. A confident chief minister there of Haryana, uh, Nayab Singh Saini, is confident that uh, the BJP will defy the exit poll predictions and come back to power for the third time in a row in Haryana. How likely is that according to you, Ravi Srivastav? Uh, I think his uh, bravado is definitely appreciable. But the fact is that what we are seeing since last two, three days, the exit polls, none of the polls are giving any lead to BJP. The BJP will be reduced to somewhere between 20 to 30 seats. And uh, they have got no, I mean, they, 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 and they deserve it. Because you see what the way Nayab Singh Saini was even talking, I was hearing that the work we have done in last 10 years, what work they have they done? The work they have done is, they, well, you saw that farmers protest happening in the uh, borders and the way the farmers are called the Khalistanis, the way 750 lives were lost and uh, Prime Minister had to withdraw those three black uh, farm laws in the parliament. So those kind of work, you have seen that uh, Hindu-Muslim uh, communal tensions over there. Just saw a few days before, a young 17-year-old boy was killed. So the kind of law and order there, actually the fact is that uh, Congress has been doing very well. But one thing let me tell you, the BJP's vote share will not come down drastically. Because the, in, you have seen in the parliament elections, the BJP's vote share came down by 1% across the country, I would say. But in the process, they lost 63 seats. They lost 63 seats. So the point is that opposition is united. That's the point, that opposition is united and that is the reason that BJP is not able to garner the seats. So that is that the same thing is going to happen here, although there are some other parties as well. You have saw that uh, alliance of that BSP and uh, JJP and uh, Chandrasekhar Azad group and uh, Dushan Chautala, yes. but not going to make big dent over here. In fact, JJP is also discarded. They had fought the previous election of assembly against the BJP, yes. but they made a government along with them. So there's a rank opportunity. So your your the, your assessment is that the Congress is likely to come in. Uh, do you believe it's going to be a landslide? It's going to be one-sided, or do you believe things will get close? No, there, there is no doubt about it. It will be a it will be a 50 plus seats, absolute majority for Congress. There is no doubt about. And the AAP? Yeah. What about the AAP? AAP? Will think, they be able to AAP open AAP their AAP account AAP or no? Aap, aap, if we get some one seat, I think they should consider themselves lucky because uh, their vote share was hardly 0.5% in the parliament elections and this time I think it, is, it may go up to... Okay, even let's get an Imad Shubhat. Imad Shubhat, uh, you know, Ravi Srivastav there believes that uh, this is false bravado of the chief minister of Haryana. He was speaking, of course, just a short while ago. I'm sure you heard him very, very clear, clearly and closely as well. Uh, do you believe that BJP could spring a surprise in Haryana? Uh, they could defy what the exit polls have said or do you believe uh, that this time around anti-incumbency is working against the BJP and could uh, work in favour of the Congress? What's your uh, analysis before counting begins, Iman Shufat? Yes, before counting begins, you know, I'll stick to my stand what I've given yesterday, day before yesterday also, that anti-incumbency is going to be there. But that does not mean Congress will benefit. See, exit polls I don't believe in last five years. Last five years, exit polls have always proven wrong and proven wrong by a distance. And that's why, you know, I'm not going to go on that. But what I'm, what I, what I foresee is Haryana is a state. There are certain stated facts which we need to understand. Haryana has always had the government which is at the center. That's number one. Number two, contrary to that, they have never repeated. But last 10 years, they did repeat. That is also a fact. Another thing is, last Lok Sabha elections, people are tom toming so many things. They're farmers and this and that. Are. My basic question as an Indian, as a Bharatiya is, how many of them were farmers? That's a basic question. How many of them were farmers? That is my basic question. And along with that, when we talk of it, when we talk of it and when the polling oh, okay. takes place, See, there's nothing, there's nothing been extraordinary in Haryana polling. See, actually, if the polling goes up so much, that means people have come out. See, I've been seeing elections for 30 years, probably Ravi Bhai has also seen that. So, we will all agree that. 
if that's going to be very high turnout, which is not not the case yes. in entire India now. Then in that say, situation, I'll come to the mood point. What is going to happen? My hunch feeling is Haryana has always been electing 8 to 10, 8 to 10 independents. And they have been the kingmakers in quite a few times. The history is going to repeat. The history is going to repeat. Because I don't foresee BJP crossing 35 to 38. I don't foresee Congress by itself crossing 40, 42. In such a case that, you know, other parties, and you are talking about how. AAP will not be able to make a debt. Okay. Kejriwal might go there and say, I am a son of Haryana, I am Haryana ka beta huji. All those things are there. These are all verbatos, you know. And you know, just before the elections, now see the fate of the people are sealed in the ballot boxes. Now people can talk so many things. People can talk so many things, but only when the results start coming out, after that you have to see. See, I 